Your wedding night sex is a ritual dance that has so much hype and anticipation surrounding it, so it is hard to know if you are doing it right. The truth is that wedding night sex does not always turn out the way you thought it would, but that does not mean it is not going to be special. So what is the norm when it comes to wedding night sex? In a survey of 1,000 couples, 52% said they did not even bother having sex on their wedding night. The truth is, your wedding night is going to be exactly what you make of it. It could be super romantic, or you could spend it praising the porcelain god because you partied too much. If you want steamy romantic sex with your newly beloved, then you have to plan for it. That means no getting wasted, no fighting, and no staying up until all hours of the morning just to accomplish the deed. You do not have to make wedding night sex perfect. You just have to make it your own. Here are all the tips for how to make the most of your wedding night sex. How to make wedding night sex unforgettable. This is your wedding night. While your expectations should be set for having multiple orgasms on a bed of rose petals, you should not be prepped for a lackluster experience either. Whether you are well-versed in the art of lovemaking or you are new to the game, here is how to make the most of wedding night sex. 1. If you are a virgin. If you are a virgin on your wedding night, then you have probably been told some pretty ridiculous things about how it is going to go down. Men are told they will only last a few seconds, this might be true, and women are told they will gush blood and feel no pleasure. If you are a virgin, do not expect a mind-blowing orgasm. But, do not count it out either. These might be the general rumors, but they do not have to be the truth. Make your first time special. This is your wedding night, after all. Engage in plenty of foreplay, use protection, and take the time to enjoy one another. This is an experience you will never forget. You know, unless you are wasted. 2. Low pressure means good results. Even if you have had sex a hundred times, by the time you get to the wedding night, you may still get butterflies. This is the first time you are having sex as husband and wife. One of the biggest tips you should remember is not to put too much pressure on the evening. Set your expectations low for the sex portion of the evening. That way, if you have it, you will be thrilled, but you will not be disappointed if you are both too exhausted to have a good night kiss. Wedding night sex does not have to complete some kind of checklist. There does not have to be a room full of heart-shaped balloons, you do not have to have candles burning and you do not have to wear white lingerie or carry your new wife over the threshold. All of these things would definitely make the night more special, sure. But the most important thing is that you are starting your life together. 3. Do not get drunk. If you are really looking forward to the best wedding night sex you can have, then the best advice you can live by is not to get drunk at your wedding. Alcohol's negative effects on sex can leave you with a limp whiskey dick or a desert dry vagina. Both of these things, especially combined, do not make for a romantic romp in the sack. Another unfun bit of boozy truth. Alcohol can dull or impair your orgasm. That's right, you may be able to get it in the hole, but that does not mean you or her are ever going to finish from it. Just some key reasons why you may not want to get wasted before your wedding night sex. 4. Do it earlier in the day. Whether you are a virgin or not, getting it on right after your vows may be more ideal than waiting until after your reception. If you have your ceremony at noon you could be back in bed by 2 p.m. easily. This allows you a moment of privacy to wind down after your emotional exchanging of vows. Not to mention, you can get it on. This also means you can get a decent buzz on at your reception without worrying how it will affect your performance in the bedroom. Win-win, 5. Bring the essentials. Just because you are staying at a hotel does not mean you should not bring your sex essentials with you. If your wife can only get off when you use a vibrator on her clit, bring it along. If you guys use toys, lube, fantasy, handcuffs, or other sexual aids, be sure to plan ahead and bring your naughty picnic basket with you. 6. Prepare beforehand. Wedding night sex should pull out all the stops, and that includes shaving your legs. Schedule a full body wax or trim down those pubes, 
because tonight is a night for romance. You may even want to wash up beforehand or bring some wet wipes with you for a quick clean beforehand. Knowing you are all nipped, waxed, tanned, and smelling great will help you feel more comfortable about doing the deed later. 7. Remember, this is a special event. This is not a contest to see who can cross the finish line first. It is your wedding night sex. Nosy friends, old and new will all be asking what the sex was like on your wedding night. Do not be the person who responds even worse than I thought. Even if you have been having sex for years, you should not discount your wedding night sex as just another ride on the merry-go-round. Make this night special. Take your time exploring one another and pleasing one another as husband and wife. This experience should set up your sexual encounters for years to come, so make it a good one. 8. Accept that it may not happen. Wedding night sex is never what you think it is going to be. It does not have to be mind-blowing, it does not have to be awkward, and in fact, it does not have to happen at all. So do not worry about it, after all, you are married now. You have plenty of time for sheet-soaking sex tomorrow, and the next day, and the day after that. Conclusion. Do not get hung up on what wedding night sex should be. You can spend the night following your nuptials ravaging each other in orgasmic bliss. Or, you can spend the night eating Cheetos and watching Seinfeld reruns. The choice is yours, and there is no wrong one, so long as you are doing it together. For more dating, relationship and marriage advice, please visit my blog hotamacarellashunshipwork.com. Also, subscribe to this YouTube channel and press the red button so that you can be notified whenever I release a new video.